On the Health Watch this evening, despite well-known risks and strict precautions, a new study shows pregnant women are still using a popular acne medication. Dr. Malcolm Marshall joins us now, and we're talking about Accutane. Accutane, which is all the way also known as isotretinoin, and um, it's very effective at treating hard-to-treat acne, but it's also associated with severe birth defects. And so, back in 2006, they put strict, strict regulations in place to try to prevent pregnancy in women who were taking the medication. So for example, women on the drug are supposed to do a pregnancy test every month. They're supposed to use two forms of birth control. But researchers at Brigham and Women's sort of have tracked the use of, of uh, isotretinoin with um, pregnancy. And they found that even though the numbers are down, that there's still seven, uh, seven, several, what is wrong with me today? Several hundred pregnancies You're a year. And more, you know, one or more is like, it's too many. So they're hoping that they can put more regulations in place to try to prevent, you know, these birth defects in newborns, but also make it available for women who really need it. Yeah, I mean, when the word is out and we know the dangers, it's shocking that exactly. we still have to talk about it. I am fascinated by this because I'm fascinated by medical data. Most of the time when we look at blood pressure, we focus on the top number. But a new study in the New England Journal of Medicine says both numbers matter. Okay, remind me, what do both <laughs> numbers mean if they both matter? Right, okay, so your systolic blood pressure is that top number, right. and it reflects how hard the heart is pumping to get blood through the arteries. The diastolic number or the bottom number reflects the pressure in the arteries when the heart is resting between beats. And so researchers at Kaiser, at Brigham and Women's as well, and at Harvard Medical School looked at more than 1.3 million American adults. And they found that both the elevations in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure really matter when it comes to increasing the risk for heart attack and stroke. The top number, the systolic number, a little bit more, but that both numbers matter. And so, you know, they're saying that both doctors and patients need to be aware of that. And in otherwise healthy adults, the lower the blood pressure, the better. And if you remember, they came out with relatively new guidelines saying that the first stage of hypertension starts at 130 over 80. So they lowered that number. It's not 140 over 90 anymore. So. Okay. So you want both numbers to be pretty low. Exactly. Okay. Excellent, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. Paula?